Depending on your recording environment, your video may have a lot of echo or reverb. Maybe you had to record in a warehouse, a garage, or any place that has a lot of hard surfaces, straight walls, and not a lot of sound absorbing materials. Well, there are ways you can remove some of that reverb and echo. We're gonna give you three tools, one in Final Cut, one that's available on all platforms, and another from the Adobe Creative Suite. Let's start with Final Cut. Here's our clip that was recorded with some echo. Let's hear what it sounds like. Welcome to Riverside. Riverside is the best way to record high quality video and audio content online. So you can hear it has a lot of echo. Let's select our video and then go up here to the sound settings. I'm gonna use a new tool called Voice Isolation. I'm actually gonna crank it all the way up to about 80%. Voice Isolation does a great job of removing background noise as well as things like reverb and echo. Let's see what our clip sounds like now with 80% voice isolation applied. Welcome to Riverside. Riverside is the best way to record high quality video and audio content. A significant difference. I'm actually gonna check and uncheck the box while the clip plays so you can hear the difference. Welcome to Riverside. Riverside is the best way to record high quality video and audio content online and with remote guests. So you can see voice isolation does a great job of removing that echo and reverb. Now let's check out a tool that's available on all platforms, which is from a company called Isotope and their new RX10 suite of audio plugins. When you install RX10, you can use these plugins in lots of different apps, including the Adobe Suite, Final Cut, and Premiere, but here's actually the standalone RX10 application. I pulled in the same audio file as before. Welcome to Riverside. And as you can hear, it's still got that echo. Now I'm gonna choose the tool here on the right side called D Reverb. When I select this tool, I can preview what it will sound like once I apply it. Welcome to Riverside. Riverside is the best way to record high quality video and audio content online and with remote guests. So that does really well. Now I actually chose the enhance dry signal and chose the reduction to about 15. You can also adjust these settings if you feel you sound a little too robotic. Here's what it sounds like with a little less reduction and unchecking this enhanced dry signal box. Welcome to Riverside. Riverside is the best way to record high. I'm gonna go ahead and recheck that box and bring this back up to about 15. Let's preview one more time. Welcome to Riverside. Riverside is the best way to record high quality video and audio content. That does really well and it's even just in preview mode. So I'm gonna click render here. It's going to apply that noise reduction to the clip and now we'll see what the finished product sounds like. Welcome to Riverside. Riverside is the best way to record high quality video and audio content. So RX10 from Isotope also does an incredible job removing that reverb and echo. Now let's see how we can remove that echo and reverb using the Adobe Creative Suite and their application, Adobe Audition. I've opened the same video here in Adobe Audition. Let's hear it again. Welcome to Riverside. Riverside is the best way to record. Obviously still pretty echoey, but here I'm gonna go up to the effects menu, noise reduction restoration, and here at the bottom you'll see D reverb. When I select that option, you'll see another window pops up. And again, the intensity setting is here. I can choose how intense I want it to sound. If you find the audio sounding a little robotic or mechanical, bring that down just a little bit. Let's start here at about 70% and preview what that sounds like. Record high quality video and audio content online and with remote guests. I still hear a little bit of echo in there, but it is getting a little robotic. Let's bring it up to 75% and let's apply and see what the finished product sounds like. Keep in mind Adobe Audition is going to create a new secondary audio file that you'll need to sync up with your original video later. You can do that with a multicam clip and if you need help with multicam clips, you can check out this video we have above covering multicam and Final Cut and Adobe Premiere. Now that Dverb has been applied, let's hear what this finished clip sounds like. Welcome to Riverside. Riverside is the best way to record high quality video and audio content online and with remote guests. Adobe Audition does a pretty good job removing that echo, but I do find that the Isotope RX10 suite and voice isolation and Final Cut are probably your best tools to remove that reverb and echo. Voice isolation is built into Final Cut Pro and you can purchase that entire application for $300 in the App Store on your Mac. There's several different packages available for Isotope RX10, the Standard Edition and Advanced. Standard includes some things like breath control and some deverb settings for about $300. Now remember RX10 can be used as a standalone application or those plugins will also be available in things like Logic, Final Cut, and the Adobe Suite applications. Or you can go for RX10 Advanced, which starts at $799, offers even more audio repair tools. And if you'd like to learn more about audio repair, you can check out this video in our advanced post-production workflows. So that's how to remove echo or reverb from your video clips using Final Cut, RX10 from Isotope, and Adobe Audition. If you have any questions about what we covered, leave a comment below this video, hit the like button, and then subscribe to the Riverside channel. We have lots of videos on advanced workflows for post-production, plus things like automating your podcast, how to use video switchers, and a ton more. Thanks for tuning in. 
We'll catch you in the next video.